Hello everyone, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedantu. Here we are presenting solutions for J Advanced 2019, Paper 1. Question for this video is, let's have a look. Uh, it is uh, related to the topic quadratic equation, but it's a good problem. See, uh, let alpha and beta be the roots of x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0 with alpha more than beta. Alpha is a bigger root. For all positive integers n define a n, here they are defining a n as alpha raised power n minus beta raised power n upon alpha minus beta. n greater than equal to 1. b's are defined as b1 is equal to 1 and b n is a n minus 1 plus a n plus 1 for all n greater than equal to 2. In which of the following options are correct? Uh, when we look at the option, option a and b only, I mean, uh, are concerned to the values of a's. In option, in option C and D, uh, B's are taken. B's are required to be checked. So, uh, question looks lengthy, but uh, I'll show you how can we easily find these, um, check these options correctly and quickly. Coming to the first option, A1 plus A2 plus uh, up to An is equal to An plus 2 minus 1 for all n greater than 1. We have to check whether it is correct or not. Uh, I'm writing. Uh, see, yeah. Um, I can write. Yeah. A one plus A two plus 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 A n is equal to. Yeah. Sigma alpha raised power n minus sigma beta raised to the power n upon alpha minus beta. Now sigma alpha raised power n n ranging from 1 to n. So we can write alpha plus 1 using the formula of sum of a gp. I can write it as like this. Right? Now, uh, in order to tackle alpha minus 1 beta minus 1 I'll go back to the quadratic as alpha is a root I can write alpha square minus alpha minus 1 is 0 so then I can write alpha into alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 so I can write 1 upon alpha minus 1 as alpha so uh, from here we can easily get whatever we need to check like this and here you are getting alpha power n plus 2 minus beta raised power n plus 2 divided by alpha minus beta minus alpha minus beta divided by alpha minus beta which is nothing but a n plus 2 minus 1 so option a the same right hand side was there option a is correct a n plus 2 minus 1 getting it uh, yeah, option B uh, it looks like uh, infinite uh, GP a n upon 10 raised power n and a n is defined. Uh, yeah, so a n upon 10 raised power n. See how can we check option B? a n sigma a n upon 10 raised power n n from 1 to infinity. a n was defined as alpha raised to the power n by 10 raised power n minus sigma beta raised power n by 10 raised power n divided by alpha minus beta right and n ranging from 1 to infinity it is nothing but infinite gp every term of the numerator and we can write uh, use the formula for infinite gp that first term upon 1 minus common ratio a upon 1 minus r so i can write alpha by 10 upon 1 minus alpha by 10 over here and minus beta by 10 upon 1 minus beta by 10 over here upon alpha minus beta so i am solving it in a user ma usual manner so i can write again alpha upon 10 minus alpha i think uh, minus beta upon 10 minus beta upon alpha minus beta so further we can write uh, 10 times yeah um 10 times alpha minus beta okay and uh, right uh, okay what we are getting here 
right uh, minus alpha beta plus alpha beta you'll get upon 10 minus alpha 10 minus beta and yeah alpha minus beta is also there so these two got cancelled and alpha minus beta will also be cancelled from numerator and denominator in numerator you will get only 10 and in denominator if you open it or uh, using the factor theorem we can see we can say uh, that it is nothing but p of 10 uh, isn't it so i mean 10 upon it is 10 square mother uh, right uh, it was the equation was x square minus x minus 1 no? minus x minus 1 so it is 10 upon 100 minus 11 that is 89 10 upon 89 and i think the same thing was given in the right hand side so option b is also correct coming to option c this is very interesting option c uh, b n is equal to alpha raised power n plus beta raised power n is it correct now b n is defined as a n minus 1 plus a n plus 1 and a n is defined um, besides the b n uh, in the left of b n uh, we, have, we have been using in the option a and b so b n how can we say that b n is alpha raised power n plus beta raised power n is it true or not let's see option c i am taking so b n actually was defined as a n minus 1 plus a n plus 1 for every n greater than or equal to 2 so can i write it as alpha raised power n minus 1 um okay minus beta raised power n minus 1 by alpha minus beta plus alpha raised power n plus 1 minus beta raised power n plus 1 by alpha minus beta see how can we easily get uh, the option c uh, yeah so i can write alpha raised power n 1 by alpha plus alpha right then minus of okay plus of beta raised power n right uh, yeah mm, okay minus 1 by beta minus beta divided by alpha minus beta i'm trying to make alpha raised power n plus beta raised power n you can you should also again check the right hand side of option c alpha raised power n plus beta raised power n now as the equation was x square keeping in mind x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0 yeah so can i say the product of roots is minus 1 so 1 by alpha can be written as minus beta and similarly 1 by beta as minus alpha so i can write alpha raised power n minus beta plus alpha plus beta raised power n now minus 1 by beta would be alpha minus beta upon i'm not uh, i mean uh, changing the den denominator uh, we are keeping denominator as it is finally alpha minus beta will get cancelled and we'll get alpha raised power n plus beta raised power n so option c you can see in this manner is also true isn't it yeah now coming to option d option d can again be found using in the similar manner what we have adopted to get the um, option b bn upon 10 raised power n however if, by giving little stress to the mind we can see that bn would be we can easily show it that bn is more than an for every n and uh, except n equal to 1 where both are same after n equal to 1 bn would be greater than an so sigma bn upon 10 raised power n will also be greater than sigma an upon 10 raised power n so option d must not be correct because uh, uh, already uh, an upon 10 raised power n sigma is 10 raised power 10 by 89 so it option d uh, bn upon 10 raised power n must be more than that 
more than 10 by 89 it is given 8 by 89 lesser than that but uh, okay we should uh, we can um, i mean this is something which uh, we must uh, give a proper definite solution it's not like uh, that we are uh, we just are observing it and uh, not giving the proper strong idea about it so for that we'll have to there's no um, difficulty in finding the option d again so bn upon 10 raised power n sigma n upon 1 and so from n equal to 1 to infinity can uh, again be written as uh, right uh, a bn uh, uh, just we f have found that bn is alpha raised power n upon beta raised power n so i can write like this sigma l beta raised power n upon 10 raised power n n ranging from 1 to infinity again using the formula of infinite gp alpha by 10 1 minus alpha by 10 plus beta by 10 upon 1 minus beta by 10 so you'll get uh, then uh, alpha upon 10 minus alpha plus beta upon 10 minus beta over here and then we can easily write here it is nothing but p10 when you take the lcm and in the numerator you'll get 10 times alpha plus beta right minus okay here it was beta sorry right minus uh, alpha beta minus alpha beta so it is minus 2 alpha beta so alpha plus beta here is 1 and alpha into beta is minus 1 and p10 is 10 square minus 10 minus 1 so finally you will get the answer to sigma bn upon 10 is for n as 12 upon 89 but in option it was 8 upon 89 so option d must not be true uh, i think it's clear to you so this can be the easiest way to get uh, all these options to check all these options i hope you understood the solution uh, again the typed so abc were correct d was not correct as you can see here the type solution also here uh, maybe at some step there is some difference what i have explained uh, in this question in this video so you may go through it almost similar uh, okay take care stay tuned for the next question thank you